could do entertainment next. Uh, oh yeah, we, I might as well request an entertainment mission. We almost have the full whatever you call it on him. Nice. I've got a new contract that would really help out the entertainment division. Shouldn't be a problem for a person of your skills. Perfect. Acquire at least 90% of the polycanthus gene. That's really easy, so let's do that. I don't know how we're doing already. Every day more exciting than the last. That's my motto. So I'm looking forward to lots of new energy around here once you acquire that genome. <laughs> Even if I don't know what that is. Well, there we go. Two jump. Whoa! Two gigantic. Two, two a gigant spinosaurus. Uh, Amber's right there. Wow. That's going to hit like 60 or something percent here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure. Jeez. Anyway, sell that iridium. Sell that gold. Uh, Sinoceratops. That's going to hit 100% here in just a moment. I can probably cancel that one. And this one's probably going to be. Nah, 94% with a 3 star. Yeah, I'll still I'll still queue that one up just in case. Then uh, we have a Centosaurus. Centosaurus? Uh, Crichtonsaurus, that's pretty close right there. And let's go, what was it, the Polycanthus they want? I forget where that one was. Up here? Yes, 56%. I forget what number they wanted for it, though. But either way, I'm just going to continue going there over and over again until it's nice and done. Uh, oh, and there's that new critter we unlocked, the Memenchisaurus. I guess we're going to have to wait until that one's 100% and, you know, release it so we can actually hear how it's pronounced 100%, right? Or I could look it up right now. Wow, a new viable... Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Is that like 30% and then two ambers? Wow, really propelled that up hardcore. Let's see. Let me go to that website that I used a little while ago to hear these pronunciations, see if it has the... Um, what was it again? Hold on, let's see. The Memenchisaurus. I, I think... I, I have a feeling it might be the Memenchisaurus. Uh, oh, they have it right here. Holy heck. Let's listen to it. Mementosaurus. Mementosaurus. Let's hear it again. Mementosaurus. Mementosaurus. I, I, I wasn't too off. I wasn't too off from that. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, uh, oh, yeah. We have another location we can go to. So, yeah, might as well go do the quickness or crick. Oh, I should have done the side. Ah, I could do a side of ceratops here in just a bit. But look at that. 98%. Gah. What was that? What was it? Like, nine? Oh. <gasps> Brachio's done, nice, so now our, uh, hold on, don't we have two? Hold on, I have a feeling, oh, I can check the map, so would this be our third, oh yeah, these guys, I need to sell these ones, forgot about them, whoops, <laughs> sell that, sell the other one over here too, there you go, sell that one, uh, oh yeah, do we already have two, or, man, look at that, we have four Apatosaurus, yeah, we already have two, Oh wait, or is that the one that's being- Oh yeah, that's the one that's being released. I thought we already had two of them, but I guess that's not the case. But now we do. But there he goes. So now our uh, Brachio over there has a friend. We are pleased to welcome a Brachiosaurus to the- And if we go over here, yeah, social group one to five. So we can have up to five of these gals, guys and gals up together uh, with each other and stuff. So that's great. Now we have another Stego with a really good genome that's going to- have a really good lifetime, whatever you call it, lifespan, whatever. Well, there he is! The Stegosaurus! What was that? Was this? Hey, population and so- oh, okay, I don't want to make any more of these. Look at the social, it's like right there. But look at that! We have another one of those guys, nice! Polyganthus genome to 90%, yeah, we're, we're getting closer on that one. So we can re we release a gigantic Spinosaurus now? With a brain aging modification, it doesn't matter because, of course, uh, we're probably just going to sell it anyways. We're doing it for the mission. So there it is right there, brain aging. Uh, it's going to be... where is it? Def I don't know. Oh, oh, yep, I can do it. So there you go. I, I was wondering, like, could I even do that right there? But I can, so that's great. All right, so Gigant Spinosaurus. That's going to be just an immediate sell. <laughs> and then we also need to photograph a dinosaur eating a carcass. Man, look at how close we are in that entertainment division. We're going to get that one no problem once our, uh, our expedition teams get back, which they might be back already. So let's see. Polycanthus, nice. Ah, it's only one star, though, but can't complain too much. Whoa! That is a long neck! Oh, and the Mementosaurus! Oh, that's an amber on the first one. Is that luck? Is that like a sign of luck or something? Jeez. <laughs> Sitting towers, are you going to sell that one? Another Crixon's. Yeah, it's going to get it that much closer to 100%. Another 400,000 right there, and another 200,000 from that gold. Noise! All right, let's go get some more polycanthus stuff over in, where was it? Up here in the UK? Yeah, 58%. We only need to get it to 90%, but still, they always slow down the closer you get to that 100%, so... Especially when there's only one location you can get it from. Gah! But whatever. Sorrow. Oh yeah, Sorrow Pelta, that's getting close to 100% as well. 
might as well go over there. And oh yeah, Sinos Intertops. I wanted to go over there, so now we're going basically to every part of uh, the world over here. Going over here to the eastern part of the... Well, this is all, this is called Western over here, but it's basically a central part, and then over here in the West, in the Americas. So, basically every part of the world is being covered right now by our expedition team. It's crazy. Anyways, I guess, uh, let's go check, let's go check up on the giant Spinosaurus now. How's that doing? Uh, there, yeah, it's somewhat slow. I do kind of want to go check, though. I don't know, we only have one. I don't know, I kind of want to get rid of this mission. I'll terminate it, yeah. We've had it for a while, and I, I just it just it just isn't going to happen. I'd say, especially when we have one carnivore on this island. I just heard of a new contract that I think will be beneficial for the science division. I'm not asking out of loyalty. There's plenty for you here as well. Oh yeah, that's good. Make at least two hundred fifty thousand from the sale of items found on expeditions. Yeah, we're going to get that like no problem, like right now. Wow, holy heck. Anyways, speaking of expeditions, we should have some expeditions finishing up here rather quickly. And that's going to be that much closer to that 250,000 for the science division, as well as the 90%, uh, whatever you call it, for the Polycanthus. Polycanthus one is going to take quite a while. I may, I may just pause the recording and continue getting stuff for that, as well as while we're waiting for the gigant Spinosaurus brain aging thing to finish over here. Yeah, that's 50%, so I may just pause for like a couple minutes, and I'll see you guys here in just a moment. Alright guys, back. I don't know if you guys just saw that just a moment ago, if that captured on my, uh, my video, if I caught it. But we just got the Allosaurus unlocked for getting the, uh, the Science Division mission some money. We also have the Gigant Spinosaurus over here nice and done, so let's release that bad boy. Seems like it's a small, a small little critter, considering how zoomed in we are. Oh yeah, it is. It's not, I don't even think it's medium, I think it's like straight up small. Look at those big old, like, two big horn spike things on its back like trike spikes but on its shoulders whoa bottom line i couldn't have done it any better thanks yeah no problem but we are going to just knock him out and sell him immediately because uh, oh a storm is coming because of course we uh we made him for the mission anyways right and it seems like he needs high social and high uh population anyways so yeah his population right now is fine oh look at that dart right there you can physically see it gee and there's another one right there i think Yep, oh, and he's nice knocked out. Wow, nice job there. And let's sell him. There we go, 300 ton. Whoa, man, that one cost a ton of money. Whew, man. I know his storm is incoming. Multiple expeditions complete, that's good. Polycanthus uh, progress right now is it's doing better. Remember, we only need to get to 90%, so that two star right there, that's good. Uh, Crichtonsaurus is gonna, I don't know. I That three star is gonna take it to 100%, I'm sure. Uh, we have another one star here for the Polycanthus, so yeah, we're still a long ways off from getting this Polycanthus to that 90%, unfortunately, so yeah. Uh, Giant Spinosaur, well, two star right there, another two star right here for a Chunkingosaur, okay. That's a different one. <laughs> but this uh, Giant Spinosaurus is actually doing pretty well in its progress, not bad. But we're gonna need to go on more expeditions, so just kinda wanna update you guys on those things. We have a storm going on right now, so I'll probably take care of that as I pause, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be kinda repetitive and whatnot. But real quick, and of course we need to get more Polycanthus, I kind of want to just show you guys our progress here. Look at all the 100%s we have, like holy heck. Ketrosaurus hit 100% just recently, Majungasaurus, we're slowly working on that. South America's complete 100% even over here in America. 100% America and Canada. Everything is 100%. So wow, uh, we basically don't have to go anywhere anymore. Basically just have to go like, I think, like right over here in Madagascar, that's that's one place. And then over here in Australia, we have zero percent on the Mudoborosaurus, Saurus, and then uh, of course we have the Mamenchisaurus and the Gigant Spinosaurus there, and then uh, Sinoceratops that just got finished, Crichtonosaurus that's going to get finished like right now, and everything else is a hundred percent. So wow, we there's only a handful of things that we need to. Uh, anything else get? Did we just live through that storm? No problem. I think we did. Oh my god! Whoa! Another million dollars a minute per. Uh, for of profit. What do you cheat? Whatever. <laughs> uh, close all shelters. Or uh, there we go. Close all shelters. There we go. So where where where's this? Something got damaged during that. I know it because it's yelling at me about about power. So yeah. Uh, let me go. Oh, it's all the way over there on that island. Okay. Well, let me pause the recording. Continue getting more of that polycanthus stuff. And then I guess after that's done, I guess we could work on the entertain. Er, yeah, the entertainment mission, which is going to be the final mission before we move on. To the Dr. Wu, or the secrets of Dr. Wu 
islands and all that kind of Point stuff, received. so... So that's going to be kind of cool. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I hope you guys are as well. I'm really excited about these these weird hybrids of critters. It's going to be crazy. Anyways, real quick. Did get an expedition done. Whoa, with two three-star polycanthus. Nice. Not going to be good enough to get it to 90% just yet, though, unfortunately. So, like I said, go to pause the recording, go on some of these expeditions, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. Lost two more stegos, unfortunately, but we got two more stegos coming right now. So, you know, they got some replacements coming. And as you see right there, I did end up researching the Allosaurus Fallen Kingdom fossil access. So it looks like now we can make some Allosauruses. But like I said, we'll probably save that for the next island or something like that. Because right now, yeah, uh, we have 99% herbivores here. It's kind of like mess up the balance that we have going on right now if I have a... I can allosaurus out of them, and we're probably going to need like multiple allosauruses because they are like more pack oriented, aren't they? So, anyways, try getting spinosaurus. That's slowly getting there, and as you can see right here, we have polycanthus. Uh, it's going to hit. That's a three-star one right there, and yes, it is hitting ninety percent right there. That's great. All right, and there we go. Contract complete. Ooh, I was worried there for a bit, but you came through with that genome. Great job. All right, and that should be it. Yep, Rainforest Cosmetic Gene. Nice. Now, do we need to buy that? Do we need to... What What? What all needs to be done? Uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's already unlocked, right? Wetland, Tundra, Taiga, Savannah, Wetland, Alpine, Coastal, Steppe, Woodland, Arid, Rainforest. Is that the one we just got? I don't remember. Huh. Jungle and Vivid. Yeah, we still don't have those ones. Unfortunately, but hey, speaking of entertainment division, let's go do that entertainment division mission right now. Let's go start it up. And then, oh man, we're going to be done with this island and done with the main core part of the game, unfortunately. Wow. And like I said, we're going to move on to the secrets of Dr. Wu, so it's not like the whole series is over just yet. Look at that. Right at the very end, and we end up getting two three star polycanthus. Oh wow. Polycanthus is going to hit 100% here, I think, because it's not letting me queue up the- Oh, wait, yeah, never mind. <laughs> My queue is full, that's the reason why it won't let me queue that up, okay. <laughs> Huayang is the worst, uh, Gina, and we can delete that or sell it because we already have 100% high Huayang got Horus, so that's not too bad. Still hovering around a million dollars a minute. Golly, and I'm not bragging, God. Anyways, like I said, let's go do the mission. Two out of three complete, which means entertainment. Time to do the entertainment mission. Incubate and release the following with high ratings. Now, I, I think it needs to be at least that number. And Metro Kansas Wars and Trike are fighting again. Yeah, they keep fighting, but like when they get low on health, like this happened like twice off camera. Like they get low health and then just run away. So that, that, that I don't think we need to worry about that, to be quite honest. Yeah, low health, not too big of a deal. Brachiosaurus, I think it needs to be at least 135, right? And then Triceratops at least 50, Stegosaurus at least 80, Tyrannosaurus Rex at least 340, Spinosaurus at least 350, so... Yeah, we're going to need to make a T-Rex, and we're going to need to make a Spino here. But I don't know where we're going to put them, to be quite honest. Jeez. Because if we put them over there where all the other uh, critters are, they're probably going to hunt, 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 and just absolutely annihilate everything. And we can make another Brachiosaurus right now. We can make another Trike. We can make another Stego. Those are all just easy. No problem, so. All right, let me lay it out for you. I want to bring up our value and our overall reputation. I set goals that we can meet, and the way I figure it, we do this, and the other divisions are going to have to take us seriously. We become the real force of nature around here. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, looks like possibly the easier mission. All right, let's start with some new dinosaurs. You know what to do. Incubate, hatch, and house. Only this time, make sure you're getting the ones I've identified. Keep chill. I got a plan, okay? Uh, ambition... A double-edged sword, if there ever was one. Now, I don't know if that Stego that we just released, if that counts for it. I don't know what the rating is on it. Uh, 114, yep, no problem. We just need a... Yep, there it is right there. It got checkmarked. That's good. So we have those Stegos coming out because, of course, two of them died, uh, I think, during a pausing of the recording or something like that. So that's great. That, that was an unintentional one right there. I guess we could just uh, modify a genome, just get a different cosmetic for this. And then, uh, whoa, there's the brand new Rainforest pattern. Wow. Got to uh, get that Brachiosaurus at uh, 135. Uh, rating is at 294. Yeah, no problem. Jeez. Triceratops rating of 50. We can do that over here. Same with the Trank and the Stego. So let's do that. Uh, Triceratops. I don't even know what the baseline of that is. Probably just need to do like one thing and we're good to go, right? So let's go check. Uh, Triceratops. Where would that be? Down here. There it is right there. 
So the base rating of it is 39. We only need 50, so yeah. Just doing a cosmetic is almost enough. Yeah, look at that, 46. Coast, I guess we'd coastal, I guess. Yeah, maybe, get, uh, let's, let's get skin toughness. That's always a classic one, and there it is, 52. That's all we need to do, you guys. Just incubate that, and boom. Uh, oh yeah, this, we have hatchery capacity over here. We didn't do success rate, so yeah, we need to watch out for that. Wow. Especially if we're going to be making... Honestly, I think the T-Rex and the, uh, the Spino, those... I feel like those don't even need to be highly rated at all. So we just need to get them up to like 340 and 350. I forget which one's which, but it doesn't really matter if we're going to make them super high rated anyways, right? So let's go to S for Spino. There it is right there, Spino. The base rating of it... Oh! 280? Is that... Is that the... I don't know if that's a bit... No, yeah, yeah. No, it's not the base rating. Because it's a 90% viability rate there, I think... I think we have something on it, so hold on. Spino is 350, so we're going to need 350, which means modify a few things here and there. Uh, ooh, a reinforced one, nice. In defense, we skin toughness. So that takes us to 320 already, wow. Remember, we need 350 and 364 immediately with tooth hardness, golly. Increased bone density, 368, gah. Nothing else for defense or anything. I have to do uh, attack if I want, so let me check. Resilience? What do we have here? Uh, rapid metabolism. That's fine. I guess we can do that one. Sure, why not? I'll probably just sell this afterward anyway, because it's probably going to kill everything. Four million dollar incubation! Man! Triceratops is almost done, though. Golly. Thankfully, it looks like the other stuff is just fine. I think we're probably just going to have to wait for, uh... Like, a little countdown, like usual. Once these guys are made, there's just going to be a countdown, but... Thankfully, I think we're fine with these critters. Don't need to really worry about them. If anything, I probably should... Incubate this trike on the other side, so I don't know, maybe maybe I'll knock it out and release it somewhere else, just in case so it doesn't get heckin' killed. But there you go, we have a trike coming out. Now we need to get a T-Rex at rating of 340, which should be super duper easy. Once this trike is done, we could actually start incubating it. <coughs> right? Hopefully. <laughs> Incubator full. Hopefully it's gonna change here in just a bit, but let's go to T-Rex. There it is right there, so. Yep, yep, looks like it. it says I can incubate it right now, so we need to do 340 for this, so let's just do a just a random skin. It's up to 312 already. Skin toughness. We get a skin. It's at 351. That's more than enough. Aggressive instincts. Uh, let's just get rid of that. And let's just do skin toughness again. Just because why not. And it's at 351. Alright, that's perfect. We only need 340. So, hey. There we go. Four million dollars for that. Spino has a slight, uh... Slightly made first. <laughs> so hopefully they're going to bo both be done at the same time. Yeah, look at that. The Metrocanthosaurus and the Trike are fighting again, right? Or... Er. Yeah, that's right. God, what a dumb. <laughs> Man, he's gonna get killed. I kinda wanna get rid of him, but at the same time, they, they always forget about the battles. Is that the brand new trike? I feel like it might be. If so, that Metro Canthosaurus really needs to watch out. I feel like he's gonna run away. What's gonna happen? Uh oh. He's really getting. Oh, yeah, one, but he's dead. He's dead. That trike's not backing off. And it's a part of the entertainment objective. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. Wow, if only we had a Chasmosaurus fighting that instead of a trike. But isn't a Chasmosaurus, like, kind of like a trike? Or is it kind of like an ankle? I forget which one it is. It might be kind of like an ankle. I don't know. Either way, that would have been so cool if it said, Hey, allow a trike to kill a Metrocanthosaurus in combat. And we're basically already getting that done. <laughs> Let's decline it, though, even though we get a million dollars. Oh my gosh! Wow! That was brutal! Did you guys see that? Holy! That was hardcore! Man, he really impaled that Metro Canthus horse there at the end. Holy! <laughs> Man, yeah, you don't want to mess around, mess around with that trike. Oh my gosh! Anyways, Brachius horse is 58% done. Spinosaurus is 30%. T-Rex is slowly catching up at 19. So yeah, well, we just have to play the waiting game for right now. And then we're going to be done with this mission, basically. I think, like I said earlier, all we have to do after... These guys are incubated and released. It's just to wait for a countdown, maybe? And then we're going to be done, and then probably done it with the island. Because after that, we're probably not going to have to do too much more. Yeah, look at that. Science is already completed. We have all the stuff unlocked there. All the stuff unlocked and entertainment besides the mission. Oh, yeah. We still have to do the uh, security. We might as well start working on that while we're waiting for uh, this, mi this mission to go along. So let's go request a contract. Let's not argue over the small stuff. Looking at the big picture... This is a solid contract. Increased facility rating to 4.5 stars. We should be able to do that. Let's just see what it's at right now. 
island rating. Facilities at three and a half ish stars. So great safety, okay capacity, okay satisfaction. I feel like all I have to do is just kind of tweak around with some of the numbers of the shops and stuff. And then we'll probably be fine. Yeah, see, look at that. Ca capacity of this isn't scaling up too well. Wow, look at that. Man, that's a lot of people. Holy. More staff. Yep, there you go. That's good. And this one, yep, we only have two restaurants. Okay, sheesh. See, I, this is what I need to do every now and then, is just check up on these places that are completely full and can't hold anyone else. Yeah, look at that, that's full too. 600, okay, there we go, nice. And it seems like I only have one gift shop, so don't need to worry about that. The bar, we just checked, the fossil zone, that's full. Full, full, full. Oh my gosh, we're getting such good money from the fossil zone. Holy heck, it's completely full. Man, and I'm not complaining, but man, how's our facility doing now? Great, everything stayed, it went up slightly, it went up slightly. I feel like it might continue going up here in just a bit. I feel like I need to make another hotel, yet another hotel. Jeez. And then, uh, that'll probably help it out tremendously, you know? But for right now, let's go to the bowling alley, see how they're doing here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not, not doing too well, unfortunately. Ah. Can't really complain too much, I guess. Uh, dino stickers here. The capacity's doing just fine. I might have a little bit more staff just because I feel like it's going to go up even more over time, you know? And same thing. Oh, yeah, I can't make that capacity go up anymore. Yeah, I guess about as high as that's going to get. Golly! So many people! Man! And, of course, the other island over here. Let's go check them on this. We have an arcade with eight. Oh, oh my God! There's so many people here. Oh, jeez! I've never seen an arcade with basically full capacity. Oh, my gosh! This, uh, this clothes shop is full. Man, look at that. 800 people in there. That is a fire hazard if I've ever heard one. Jeez. <laughs> and, of course, we already did the restaurant just moments ago, so, yeah, that's good. All right, well, there we go. Chief uh, facility rating. We're at 3.6 out of 4.5 stars. Like I said, I think the main thing we need to watch out for right now is just possibly just making another hotel. We could probably squeeze one in, like, right here, maybe. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. We might be able to hold on. Could probably squeeze in a hotel here. I guess we could try that. And then, of course, we'd have... God, man, so many hotels everywhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. So if we're going to have a hotel here, we're going to need... Uh, let's see. I think there's a sheep in the way or a goat. Because I could have placed it just seconds ago. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, there we go. Now, now we have that. Now the terrain's, like, heck right there, so... <laughs> need to do something about that, but... Now... We can actually... Yeah, well, might as well build the wall around it first. That way we don't have to worry about the walls and the enclosures, all that kind of stuff. So let's get the concrete wall. And just... Do this. There we go. There we go, that's good stuff. All right, he's listening. we're not just under $1 million a minute. Not too bad, I suppose. Oh yeah, we're going to need to make the, uh... Let's demolish these. We're going to need to make another gate there, because there's no gate there anymore, so... Demolish building, yeah. Get rid of all that stuff. There you go. All right. Well, there you go. So now we have a hotel there. God. I don't know how we're going to accommodate... Oh, man. I guess we'll figure it out here in just a sec. Ah, let's make just a regular path. I really don't think we could squeeze in a, uh, a big fat path there, to be quite honest. So there we go. And there we go. Well, now the hotel's up and running. <laughs> and of course, we need to make another, another gateway over here. Because we just demolished that gateway. So, uh... Kind of inclined to put it there, but I kind of want to fix this first. So, let me get rid of that. Make a more proper, uh... Oh, it looks like the Brano's done. Or Brachio! I, I did say Brachio, didn't I? <laughs> looks like the Brachio's done, so that's good. And let's just get that. And there we go. All right. Oh, that's not done. That's not... There we go. There you go. <laughs> All right, now let's place down the gate. And that's going to be... Oh, whoa, I just placed the gate down just randomly. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. There you go. Demolish that. Get that money back. And place it back right there. All right. Now I need to finish this out because this looks like absolute garbage. Smooth that. Has been updated. Storm warning level has been raised. Oh, yeah. Storm warning level. Oh, man. We need to watch out for that. Storm warning... Open all shelters. It looks like we need a little bit of a uh, power over here, so. Yeah, this is just outside of range, so let me just get a regular small substation there. So there we go. And I guess I'll just connect that like this. There we go. Alright, so there we go. Now the hotel's up. 
Uh, facility rating is still 3.5 out of 4. So, I need to figure out how to get that up even more. But let's get another security contract. There we go. Now, this contract is perfect for improving the security division. I'd be disappointed if you reject it. All right, apply Ranger Reload Speed 3.0 at a Ranger Station. Sure, I guess just delete one and then reapply it, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. I hear an actual tornado. Yep, actual tornado coming down. Oh, my gosh. Right next to this place. You kidding me? Man. Okay, well, we have critters that are ready to come out, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that here just in a bit. Wow, look at the facility rating. 4.1 out of 4.5. See, look at that. that. That definitely helped it out quite a bit. Let's get uh, Rangers to take care of that. Get more rangers over here. <laughs> Take care of the feeders and stuff. Jeez, in the middle of a storm, we gotta go resupply the feeders. Man, we have so many hotels, you guys. Golly. That task. No power. Oh, no! Need to go take care of that. In just a bit, but... Building's being damaged by the storm. Holy. Uh, there we go. We have a r ranger ready. Oh, man. Hotel damaged. F uh, fossil place damaged. The bar damaged. Man, my whole left ear is completely just being blown out by the storm sound. <laughs> wow, as heck. Yeah, I know. Look at all that damage there. That's a lot of damage! Oh, man! We need more flex tape! We need more flex tape! Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Just go through the hole in the wall there, Rangers. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Now, they're resupplying and stuff. Uh, let me get this one that's repairing all the stuff. Let me get them to repair that. Hopefully we're not going to have any more heckin' stuff offline and dead and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, look at that. The power's off, so everything over here is offline, basically. Jeez. All right, well, all that stuff is going on right now. Oh, man, stuff over here is getting damaged, too. Yeah, need to watch out for that. Let's get rangers over here to take care of this stuff. You remember that stuff over here can also get uh, damaged during storms, not just where the tornado is, you know? So, yeah. That's good. We took care of all that. Everything over here is fine. Just a couple of feeders need to be resupplied. So that's no big problem. And it seems like we're good to go. And it seems like the storm has dissipated. It seems like we have a dead dino. I don't know. Uh, did the dino die from the storm? Or is it a stego? Or what happened? Hold on. Let me get the uh, transport team. Where is it? Oh, something over here. That was a Taurosaurus. Died of old age. Hmm. How are these guys? How is how are his friends doing though? In terms of uh, oh yeah, they're right on the line. I should probably make a couple more tour horses and put them over there. But remember, right now the storm has subsided. That's good. Close all shelters. There we go. Let's go back to the Carnivore Island. Go see how they're doing over there. Make sure they're not you know dead. <laughs> make sure. Uh, yep. Looks like things are slowly coming online over here. So that's good. Seems like oh yeah, we have a monorail here that's damaged. Uh, come on, what are you doing? That task. Why can't I? Oh, oh, it's not the monorail. It's the, uh, it's that thing. It's the, the pylons. Yeah, the pylons that are damaged. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's, or er, getting fixed. Not fixed just yet. But I don't think there's anything else. I think we're good to go on everything else. That's good. All right. So now we can let loose the Brachio. I kind of want to get another Torsors to replace the one that just died real quick, though. Let's modify genome. I think I already modified their genome pretty decently. Oh, yeah, we have a rainforest. Oh, yeah, the Brachiosaurus is rainforest, so let's see what that actually looks like. Let's, let's release Dino and actually watch it. Let's see what he looks like. It looked like a bluish kind of color, you know? So let's see what it actually looks like. I'm kind of seeing hints of purple. Whoa, whoa, watch out there, Jeep. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You can definitely see some purple going on there. And, of course, a little bit of tan on the belly. Kind of like a weird faded purple kind of color on his torso and his neck. And of course, the inspirational roar as it comes out. Man! Look at that thing! Yeah, it's like kind of a purple, kind of a dark gray, dark purple kind of color there, huh? Alright, well now we can let loose the, uh, the Spino and the T-Rex, and hopefully we're going to be done with the entertainment mission, right? So let's let loose the, I guess, the Spino first, and then queue up the T-Rex next, so there we go. I think the Spino's also a, uh, oh my gosh! Whoa, yep, that's a rainforest color too! Wow, look at that! That is crazy cool! It's got the blue... It's got the blue and the white kind of color. Whoa, another fence broken. What? From what? I feel like it's a stego broke into that. Uh-oh. 
Yep. This is the exact same spot again. You kidding me? Come on. Setting additional tasks. Man. Nah, don't try a vehicle. Uh, add task. Take care of that over there. Jeez. And of course, it's right next to the emergency shelter. Sheesh. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, well. Now we just need a T-Rex to come out, and then that mission's going to be done, or at least for right now. And there's a T-Rex right there. Nice. Okay, we're all about the bottom line now. We need to reach those goals I told you about. Whatever it takes. Uh, sometimes whatever it takes is more than you should give. We've, we've received word that a freak storm will hit the island soon. Uh, it's always something, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, you haven't heard? We've got a Category 5 storm barreling down right on top of us. I mean, it's never easy, right? So let's make sure we have our precautionary measures in place. Protect our animals, ourselves, and our guests. Got it? Storms spook the animals. As I'm sure you're aware, this place has a history of things going badly. Very badly, because of the weather. Stay on your toes. And be ready. Yep, well... Yeah, that, that trike didn't even stand a chance, jeez. Well, as long as the other trike doesn't die, I, I guess we're fine.